a boy was asked to multiply this number and this number and he came up with the answer which is this number in 70 seconds a small girl was asked to multiply this huge number with 11 and she came up with this answer in seconds how they were using this trachtenberg system of speed mathematics and also these were the same children who were failing again and again in arithmetic until in desperation their parents decided to send them to learn this method so in this video i will introduce you to this trachtenberg system of speed mathematics so let's begin hello geniuses so what is this trachtenberg system of speed mathematics and what it can do for you so this trachtenberg method have some procedures which are radically different from traditional means like in this method you don't need to memorize tables this method is based on a series of keys keys are nothing but rules that you have to memorize to perform calculations just once when you have memorized those keys arithmetics becomes so easy and the second good thing about this method is that this method is universal like a lot of tricks which i have taught you in this mental math series applies to specific numbers so you have to memorize like this trick applies to these sort of numbers but trachtenberg method is a universal method you just have to memorize those keys once those keys are memorized then this method is universal so to introduce you to this method in this video we will learn how to do basic multiplication using this trachtenberg system okay so first let us learn something very easy like the multiplication with 5 using this trachtenberg system see traditionally if you want to multiply with 5 we can do it really quickly see we know that but let us learn how to do this same thing using this trachtenberg system and see why this system is better now in trachtenberg system it is preferred to use pen and paper if you want you can do it mentally but paper is preferred okay so let us say you want to multiply 426 with 5 traditionally you will do it like this simple nothing complicated how you do it with trachtenberg system see in trachtenberg system there is a specific way of writing stuff see you write it like this and in the bottom of that number you write the answer nothing else it is much more elegant now to multiply with 5 you need to memorize this key half the neighbor plus 5 if the number is odd now what do this mean now in trachtenberg system neighbor means the number to the right okay so see 426 multiply by 5 let us do it we have taken a number in which all the numbers are even for now so we don't have to think about this even and odd rule for now see 426 multiply by 5 the thing is half the neighbor simple so 6 has no neighbor so 0 2 has 6 as the neighbor so 3 4 has 2 1 and see this is not our whole answer there is always a zero in front of four because zero has a neighbor so we have to take care of that neighbor thing so add a zero in front of four and half the neighbor which is two so this is our answer you can like go on further add another zero but there is no neighbor so it will just add a zero in front of it which doesn't mean anything so we just needed to add one zero in front of the number to apply the key now let us learn for odd numbers but before that i want to introduce you to the concept of halves in trachtenberg system see in the trachtenberg system for example if you want to take the half of 5 you will not say 2.5 you will say 2 you will discard the fraction and also there is a specific way of thinking about it see whenever you see 4 and you want to do its half you will see 4 and say 2 you will not think in your mind like half of 4 is 2 no as soon as you see 4 you say 2 as soon as you see 7 you will say 3 okay so 10 5 8 4 9 4 okay like that so i will flash some numbers in front of you and as soon as you look at those numbers say their half loudly Okay so if you have done that let us try to multiply this with 5 using this Trachtenberg system for now you might be thinking like this is nothing much i can do this with the traditional means yes you can do it but when we go further along with this method you will see how good it is how much complexity it removes from those traditional systems okay okay so let us now do it for 436 now first let us take 6 okay 
it is even 6 is even so no need of addition of 5 and it has no neighbor so 0 now 3 see 3 is odd okay so the neighbor of 3 is 6 so half of 6 is 3 and 3 is odd so we need to add 5 so 3 plus 5 is 8 now 4 we need to half the neighbor half of 3 is 1 not 1.5 okay so 1 and now 0 half of the neighbor 0 is even so no need of addition of 5 so 2 so this is how you perform multiplication using this Trachtenberg system of speed mathematics okay so for your exercise take this number and perform this calculation yourself you will see how fast you can do it traditionally you will do it like this and now we are doing it like this see the arithmetic operations that we are taking are same they are not different just the method of thinking about it the method of writing it is different in here so now you have been introduced to this trachtenberg system of speed mathematics congratulations okay so now let's quickly look at other numbers and look at their keys and quickly learn how to calculate using this method so see multiplication by six to each number add half of its neighbor and add 5 if the number is odd see similar to 5 just a little bit of twist that now you have to add to that number okay so let us take an example see 2 this is even no need of addition of 5 okay the neighbor is 0 so just 2 because 2 each number now the number will also come that number was not included for which we were calculating in case of 6 that number is included in there so 2 okay now 5 5 is what odd so to each number 2 5 add half of its neighbor half of 2 is 1 so 6 and also add 5 if the number is odd so 6 plus 5 is 11 now here comes the second thing carries now we have 11 you will write 1 and for the carry you will write a dot in front of one no need to write one somewhere else in the paper just dot in front of one to remember you that there is a carry okay so let's go further zero zero is even add half of the neighbor to zero so half of the neighbor half of five is what 2.5 no two so two plus there is a carry so two plus one is three so three so you go on like this and calculate the number so what you needed for this calculation is just the key and the power of counting just that okay now in Trachtenberg system of mathematics you don't need to learn tables what do I mean by that see if you want to calculate 8 times 6 what is the key to it to each number add half of its neighbor and add 5 if it is odd so see 8 times 6 8 has no neighbor okay so just 8 it is also even so 8 now to apply this key we need a neighbor so there should be a 0 in front of it right now for 0 add half of its neighbor half of 8 is 4 0 is even no need to add 5 so 48 8 6 are 48 you don't have to memorize the table you just have to memorize the key now do this 7 times 6 see 7 is odd it has no neighbor so just add 5 to it 12 now for the carry just a dot okay now 0 half of 7 is what 3 so 3 plus 1 4 so 7 6 are 42 we know that from the tables but now we are like calculating it from the keys in the Trachtenberg system keys are important now let us learn this same method for 7 what is the key for 7 okay the key for 7 is this double the number and add half of its neighbor and add 5 if the number is odd see here the addition of double the number just that so for this example see there is 2 double the number so double of 2 is 4 and there is no neighbor so just 4 and similar to that you will just apply the key like this and like calculate the answer now like do this yourself only then you will learn so in this calculation just the tricky part is where when you do it for 3 so see for 3 3 double the number 6 add half of its neighbor 6 plus 2 is 8 and then add 5 if the number is odd 8 plus 5 is what 8 9 10 11 12 13 so then 3 and a dot and you go on further along and remember to add the carry only then you will get the right answer now just look at all these numbers and say they are double quickly like don't think the double of this is this just look at the number and say it's double now the other thing which i want to tell you is this 
all the things that I've been teaching you are from this book, The Trachtenberg Speed System of Basic Mathematics by Ann Cutler. And in this book, there are a lot of practice examples, exercises which can help you improve on this method. So I will highly recommend you reading this book. Now, in the starting, I told you a girl multiplied a huge number with 11. See, the key for 11 is really simple. Just add the neighbor. See. I have taught you this same thing in this mental math series. For example, see if you have to multiply 72 with 11, you will just separate 7 and 2 and add 7 plus 2 which is 9. So 792 is the answer. Okay. That same operation is applying here just in an elegant way and for longer numbers. See, for example, if you have to multiply this number with 11, what you will do? So 633 times 11. See, 3, there is no neighbor. So 3, another 3, there is a neighbor. So 6. 6 plus 3 is 9 and then 0 its neighbor is 6 so 6 see how quickly you can calculate multiplication with 11 let us take an example in which there is a carry so for this see 4 then 5 plus 4 9 then 7 plus 5 12 a dot then 1 plus 7 8 plus 1 from the carry remember that 9 so this is the answer this is how quickly you can calculate with 11 using Trachtenberg system of speed mathematics the operation is similar to what i have taught you before just the way of doing it and thinking about the problem is different in here now for your exercise try to multiply this number with 11 okay so we have learned the key for 11 why stop at 11 let's learn the key for 12 you can multiply any number with 12 just with this key the key is double each number and add its neighbor. See, for 11, we were just adding its neighbor. Now, double the number and add its neighbor. Simple. So, let us apply this for this number. 413 times 12. So, see, 3 has no neighbor. So, 6, just double. Double of 1 is 2, plus 3, 5. Double of 4 is 8, 8 plus 1, 9. And double of 0 is 0, 0 plus 4 is 4. As simple as that. Now, try out this number with 12. Remember to take care of the carries. And if you do it correctly, you will get this answer. Okay, so that is it for this video. In this video, I have introduced you to this Trachtenberg system of speed mathematics. In the next video, we will further learn the keys of the other numbers for basic multiplication and move forward in our journey of learning this Trachtenberg speed system of basic mathematics. And also at the end, I just want to thank you all these people who have joined these channel memberships. And also thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything.